What's up, everybody? It's Jeremy with uh, Flues Brothers Chimney Service right here, uh, Fireplace Friday. Uh, <clears throat> I'm working from home today. Uh, we're starting a new, what they call CRM, which is Customer Relation Management uh, in our company. Um, our old one uh, uh, has gone obsolete, and uh, they aren't doing any updates or anything to it anymore. So... We signed up with one of the largest in the industry. Uh, it's uh, called Service Titan, and it's a lot of work. So uh, what I did was I opted to uh, try out uh, taking Friday's work from home where it's nice and quiet. Kids are still on spring break, but they're pretty quiet. So the, And get some of it done on Fridays. It also empowers the team to uh, work without me and uh, get some stuff rolling and gives them an opportunity to be leaders themselves. So I look a little tired today too, but it's been a long week. But I just wanted to show everybody as I'm uh, sitting here taking a little break, because I do have to take some breaks from that program. I uh, It was a little chilly this morning, and I turned on our uh, insert here at our house. I'm going to show that, and I'm going to show the remote and everything. So this is our living room area, and I like to work. You can see that I'm definitely getting my work in today. You can see all my stuff laid out here on our counter. even got two laptops rolling. But uh, this is our fireplace at our own house here, and that is a Enviro direct vent gas insert. And the cool thing about it is, let me sit down over here. They have one of the best remotes and simplest remotes in the industry to use. So you can see it's uh, the remote uh, where it's sitting at 75 degrees. Um, you can turn the uh, flame up and down a bit. <clears throat> Let's try that. Let's see if I can do this while I'm videoing at the same time. Let's see here. So... So you see, we'll start turning that down and the flame will get a little smaller and a little smaller and a little smaller. See, it's going down. So I'm gonna turn that all the way back up because I want some heat. Now, we can do some thermostat stuff so it'll come on and off as it, as it heats up and cools down, but I'm just gonna leave it on full blast. The next little deal here is the blower. You can hear the blower going and I can turn the blower down. You see how it went down a little bit, or I can turn it up. You can hear how 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 high it got. So I like to turn it down a couple notches. Then our next little option is we can do a little light in there. So if you watch it as I hit it, there's a little glowing. See a little glowing thing at the bottom there. There, I'll turn it down. See, there's embers right there in the bottom that turn up and down, so it's pretty cool. Kind of gives a little effect. Then we have, there we go. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty cool. The little options and stuff, you've you got some accessory options and things like that too if you added some other stuff on, but these are the settings I like it at. And... It tends to work really well. It's keeping a little warmer in here. We don't have a lot of carpet. We, uh, When we remodeled this uh, area, we put in uh, hardwood floors. So uh, this does a nice job of taking the chill off. I don't have to go outside and uh, where the wood pile is out there and bring a bunch of wood in or anything. I did that for years. And with uh, time restraints and, you know, when I get home, I just want to be comfortable. So... We turn on the fireplace and uh, really enjoy it if people come over or what have you. Uh, let's talk about one more, more thing. So years ago, they started requiring you. It's got a really nice uh, look to it, but you probably can't see it very well. But there is a barrier screen here. So if a little one, you know, tries to touch something, it's still very hot. Um, but uh, the uh, barrier screen tends to keep little fingers from touching the fireplace. Uh, so... Anyways, like I said, um, I'm uh, working on uh, business projects. Very, very busy. Uh, it's a very busy year. It's a good thing. The bad thing is we're having some problems just like every other industry, just like every other chimney company, just like every other industry out there, builders, everybody, getting some product. So 
Like I said, I think I said it last week, if you want to get chimney work done, even if you're planning on getting it done in the fall, which is the worst time to get it done because everybody's so busy, go ahead and get rolling on it now if you want anything done for uh, up till 2022 probably February 2022 you probably need to go ahead and get signed up now so we can get all the stuff in because even if we're able to start your project we might be missing a few parts and then we'll have to return uh, to put them in as we get them or maybe we'll put something temporary in and then change it out we're doing the best we can spinning plates um, and uh, it'd be a lot easier we'd be a lot easier uh, better off if the supply chain didn't have so many problems. So I challenge the mostly the fireplace hearth manufacturers to communicate better. And uh, I know they're all working hard. Everybody's working hard, but the communication's key when it comes to that. And uh, we're going to keep on working hard. We're going to keep on rolling right along and uh, working longer hours and a lot harder. So. We appreciate all of our customers and we re, uh, appreciate the respect you give. Haven't had anybody give us any grief over, a, you know, maybe we got all the other work done and we're waiting on one part or something or what have you. So I, I God bless all of our customers uh, for being very patient and understanding. I know real estate's a big thing right now too. We haven't gotten a lot of real estate inspections and I think that's why uh, I think, well, uh, I think the reason is, uh, is that the, there's more buyers than there are sellers. So the real estate market, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening. People buying houses for much more than what they're worth. Uh, bidding wars, all this stuff you hear about, which is fine. You know, if, if, if that's what you got to do, it's your money, not mine. Uh, but, uh, a lot of people are buying and, maybe just only getting a couple of inspections done or maybe they're not getting any inspections done regardless if you're buying a home even if you're buying it and you're waiving inspections or whatever you still want to see what's going on because a lot of times the chimney the house is 20 30 40 50 years old and the chimney's never been addressed if chimneys were addressed more there'd be much more uh, chimney sweep companies out there kind of like heating and cooling companies there's a lot of heating and cooling companies out there and there's a lot of them that have a lot of employees you know, I, I, I saw one here uh, a few months ago they got 150 employees that's amazing and so obviously you need your furnace to work and your air conditioner to work and everything so those are all items along with the chimney the chimney just it just seems like it kind of gets neglected and then when people want to use it or if they have a problem, it's leaking or what have you, then they're calling and finding out all of this stuff. And it's a little overwhelming at times. Uh, and I get it. I understand. But we want to, obviously, you're paying us to go through the thing, help address your issues, tell you the shape it's in, et cetera, et cetera. We take a lot of photos. It's very informative. So don't leave that out. Even if you're buying a house as is, you still want to make sure, hey, this is what I'm getting into when it comes to the parts and pieces of the home, not just the fireplace, but you know, the sewage, uh, the main line going out. It's a good idea to have that scanned. Uh, it's a good idea to get a good home inspector in there, which they're probably swamped. Uh, it's a good idea to get a proper appraisal. So if you are paying more than what the home's worth, uh, then you'll at least know, okay, this is how much I could get out of it. So I'll have to stay in this house a little longer so I can get my investment money back out of it, etc. So there's a lot of tips and tricks. If you need help with anything or uh, you want to have that chimney checked out, make sure to give us a call at the office, 913-236-7141, and we'll get you in. I'm, uh, I'm constantly opening up uh, appointment times. Uh, I think we can usually get to people by the end of the week to the next week this time of year, which is really good. But I'm predicting come August, uh, September, we're going to get extremely booked out. It's going to be uh, probably over a month. So, again, get your service done now. It's the best time. If you're going to want it serviced uh, this year, uh, if you're going to wait until next year, that's fine too. Uh, and I'm not going to say hopefully it's slower. I, of course, as a business owner, you want it to always be busy and you want it to rain, you know, success all over the place. But at the same time, 
uh, I do like to be able to get to people in an efficient manner. So again, if, uh, if you're going to be getting anything done, let's go ahead and get it done now. Um, that way you're prepared for the future. At any rate, uh, I'm going to get back to work here. My break is officially over. So have a great weekend, everybody. I think here in Kansas City, it's supposed to be decent, maybe rain a little bit. I know Brandy, uh, my wife, uh, works with the office and everything. She uh, has been looking, you know, she has a nursing background. She's been looking for a place to uh, give COVID shots, the uh, vaccine. And she's been asking me if I'd come and uh, volunteer too. And I said, absolutely. We've got some time tomorrow because we do try to take Saturdays as, uh, as a down day because uh, I'm back in the office on Sundays for at least half a day trying to get some stuff caught up. I've got a sheet metal person that comes in on Sundays and we've got some other projects around the shop that I just can't get to during the week because it's just so busy. So it's good. It's good. All this busy stuff is good. A little stressful, but it's it's really good. Uh, it's it's abnormal for this time of year, but I'm glad everybody's jumping on things and we're rolling and we have a great team and they're enjoying the busyness. So uh, everything's excellent. Maybe we'll stay this way forever. Who knows? <laughs> Regardless, we'll take it. So all right, have a great weekend. Hopefully uh, you do what you want to do and get what you want to get. We'll see you next week on Fireplace Fridays. Thanks.